Greetings. This is a Solar Watch, March 19, 2011. We are looking at a significant bulge on the GOES X ray flux monitor that was recorded late March 16 to early March 17. Okay, hunting for the likely area that's created this uh, disturbance on the solar corona, we get to see sunspot region 11169 while turning the limb expand quite violently. We can actually see the magnetic field associated with this expansion, producing a significant amount of solar flares and also uh, a sustained coronal mass ejection. Now this is a fairly significant um, activities and it does appear that this is the creator of the bulge on the GOES X-ray flux monitor. This active sunspot produced some significant coronal mass ejections late March 16 at 1900 hours, followed up by another the following day at 1200 hours and this one was much larger and much more significant. There was a fairly sustained burst in between of smaller magnitudes as recorded on Cactus and the Soho instrument. It's been fairly quiet in terms of seismic activities the last 36 hours or so with fairly sporadic events in various locations. I do feel that there is a strong likelihood that the lunar perigee and the high tides, also the equatorial tides the following day, may contribute to a seismic correction or a seismic adjustment during the next few days. The solar wind telemetry is currently at 330 kilometres a second. That would indicate that conditions are right for a potential large earthquake. The GOES X-ray flux model is now showing minimal activities since the bulge that was recorded early March 17. Okay, we're having a look at a close-up of Solar Monitor 193 Angstrom. We can actually see these very large coronal holes about to be moving in the Earth-facing position in the coming hours. And I do feel that there may be one or two events still to come. Okay, we're looking at Solon.info via Solar IMG. And this is a good look at these coronal holes that are about to be affecting us here in the next couple of days or so. Now, we do have a significant coronal hole that's in the Southern Hemisphere and a much larger one in the Northern Hemisphere and we'll have a closer look at the solar images now. Okay, we're looking at the 304 Angstrom with the STO, and first off we'll have a look at a new sunspot formation in the Northern Hemisphere, and it is a fairly rapidly growing sunspot. I do expect that there is a strong likelihood of some M or even greater solar flares over the next couple of days or two, so we may need to closely monitor this. Now the main reason for me showing this Angstrom is a fairly significant coronal hole in behind this region, I do feel there's a strong likelihood, March 19 or 20, this could produce a significant earthquake in and around 28 degrees north latitude. Looking at the northern hemisphere with the composite imagery, we get to see this significant coronal hole a little bit more clearly as it's moving into the earth facing position. There are some active flux region formations deep within this coronal hole that may indicate a potential 7.5 earthquake is likely over the next day or two. I do feel there's a strong possibility that this may occur 27 to 29 degrees north latitude. The Gulf of California has been fairly busy the last few days. I do feel like there is a likelihood that there may be an event up to March 22, so we need to closely monitor this region. The area of Japan may be receiving some events, possibly underneath in the areas of Ryukyu Islands and also Benin Islands, as high up as the Izu Islands. Looking at the composite imagery, and we get to see this southern hemisphere a little bit more closely, there are some regions in and around 43 degrees south latitude, and that's the area possibly of Christchurch, maybe receiving an event 5.5 to 5.8 in magnitude during March 19, early March 20. Now this is a new formation and it has just begun to grow. Now there's also another region that will follow this likely event and that's a much stronger earthquake perhaps in the Loyalty Islands region stretching up towards Vanuatu. We can see this is a very violent looking coronal hole and it does appear to be a fairly significant earthquake potential on this, perhaps 7.2 in magnitude. And the southern hemisphere, this trench seems to be the uh, same symmetry with the coronal hole. And I do feel that there is a likelihood of an event in the Loyalty Islands stretching up towards Vanuatu during the next few days. Okay, that's my Solar Watch and Earthquake follow-up video for today, March 19, 2011. Thanks for watching.